So I'll be calling you a radical. It takes a lot to make me cry. So the greatest of all time who mentored me more than anyone, Megan Rice is dead. So the greatest. I met her in the Nevada test site. God, so many years ago. First time I ever met her. I knew of her. I met her through her mother, Madeline Rice. Of course, her father, the great professor. Megan Rice was literally the protege of Dorothy Day, literally. I knew what she was going to do at Knoxville before she did it, because she told me. I was at the trial. I was at the potluck in Knoxville. The greatest rant I ever heard in my life, in my life. I remember it was somebody from inside the penal system leaked to Kevin Blanche. And I just happened to be in Brooklyn. Guess where Megan Rice is? She's in Brooklyn. I went over there and tried to get in. You know, they harassed the shit out of me at the woman's. I saw her not very long ago at the peace vigil. I'll make sure I call Craig and Filippo first thing ASAP in the morning. You know, I spent a lot of time at the Dorothy Day house. Been a heartbreaking few days, I can tell you that. My uncle's funeral is Saturday. I imagine Megan's will be very quick. I'll hurry and try to get on a plane, get to that one, try to get them both in. Connell loses in Japan. Boy, she was fierce. So I'm in the trial. She would call the prosecutor Timothy. I'm sitting with Mary Evelyn Tucker. She's tall. The environmentalist from Yale. She was one of the character witnesses. And the first Roman Catholic female bishop in the United States sitting with me on the other side, holding my hand. I remember head of the plowshares, the lead nun at the potluck, Kevin Blanche. I says, well, you know, you guys got to change your rhetoric. Okay with the nuke reactor, but not with the bomb. She says, yeah, you sure set us right on that, didn't you? I don't know about that. She says, I think God sent you. I'm in D.C., when was that, last year? Yeah. And I'm standing there. And I says, can I get a in front of the White House? Would it be okay if I get a picture taken with you? Fantastic ladies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I look over there, and I'm just real calm and cool, cool about it. And I just walk over by the tent. Well, if not the tent, over by the front. She sees me, walks over and starts to cry and hugs me. She would call the prosecutor Timothy. Timothy, I want to thank you for putting an 85-year-old nun in a holding cell that's built to hold a prisoner for two weeks, for three years. I'd like to thank you for turning down the temperature to 50 degrees and trying to kill me. Thank you so much, Timothy. She kept calling Timothy. I'd like to thank you because when I get out of prison, I'll have something else to protest. The warehousing of human beings in our penal system. 
judge called the snow day. He was so emotionally moved. Of course, the judge pretty well gave her life in prison. That was all Barack Obama's doings. It was on the hills of the Fukushima disaster. She knew what she was doing, because I talked to her about it. She knew what she was doing. How, when, where. It's a Saturday. Michael with her. They go in. She takes a pair of bolt cutters at Fort Knox. I mean, this is the Fort Knox of plutonium. You know, this is the most guarded place in the world. Them fucking dirt bags in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. The high School Adams. You know, I've done a lot of work there. One of the creepiest places on earth. She cuts the fence, and I remember, I believe she was 85 then, 80-something then. They go in. The biblical scriptures where plowshares come from. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I fear no evil. Sh plow your weapons back into the earth. Right as we're getting right now, the fight is on whether we're going to put nuclear energy inside the international, the Czech Republic and France. Oh, yeah, Germany. No, we, we, I mean, fuck. She does her thing. You know, it was a vile blood from the original plowshares. It was his blood. He wanted it. That was his request at the end. The only one that had the fucking guts to do it. Madeline Rice's daughter. Dr. Rice's freaking daughter. The Columbia professor. Oh, yeah. The protege of the great, 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 greatest radical ever. Dorothy Day. Oh, she did it. She says she sat there and waited and waited. This is one of the most guarded places. We spend billions, gazillions, trillions as the military industrialized war pigs loot is protecting this place. She was sitting hungry, waving her arms, waiting to come get her. Hours. Hours. There she is, next to the biggest stockpile, maybe a plutonium on her. Supposed to be all guarded. <laughs> Security guard spoke at the trial. <laughs> he went to pick up the kids, I think, for a football game or something, and then the other one was sleeping. They finally arrest her. Not her first rodeo. I met her. She was laying down in the road when I first met her in Vegas. Out of scripts. Nevada Tessa where they murdered my father. She's the one that lined me up with Annika. The Ukrainian freaking... That's how I met Annika. was through Megan Rice. In the Nevada test site where they murdered my father. They arrest her. She's probably going to get six months in jail. After all, she's an 85-year-old nun. Full of peace. Not a violent bone in her body. Barack Barry Antoinette Obama gets involved. Just like he did Aaron Swartz. The same time. Amen and Ortiz. They're going to make examples out of an 85-year-old. No, okay, okay. Again, holds her in a holding cell, built to hold for two years. Three. She's got money. She's got a great lawyer. There's great pictures with me and Quigley. We had a great conversation, he and I, the night before sentencing at the potluck in Knoxville. What a spiritual event that was. I was sucked up to nothing. One of the plowshares... Drove through the middle of the night into a very scary situation. I almost got shot in Knoxville. It's a crazy story, I'll tell one day. Thank God I he'd give me a ride home from the potluck to where I was staying. And I got into a very compromising situation. A guy pulled a gun on me out in the middle of nowhere. And I called him, and he was born and raised there. And he knew where I was at in the middle of the night, and he came and got me. And then... He said a prayer, put his hands on my head. <laughs> a 
prayed for me in a snowstorm. They call the snow day in Knoxville. I almost died that night. He saved my life. Full cancer fighting. Obama threw her in jail and tried to kill her. That was his plan. Think about this, an 85-year-old man. Who knew one of my greatest attributes was killing people? I was the first one that reported that when he tricked me. I voted for him the first time because I was a peace activist. So did Megan. We were on to him. She was the greatest. Just like her mom. I just saw this. I was getting ready to go to bed. I'll send this to Carol Gallagher. Of course, Cal Carol wasn't able to make the trial. She was in Southern Utah. I think her husband had health issues. I don't know where we go from here. It's a heartbreaking week. I thought for sure that Kano would win in Japan. We had a chance. Major, major blow set back in the anti-nuclear movement. Megan Rice accomplished a lot. She got to in her lifetime to see the UN make the nuclear weapons against the law officially. And that was one of her number one goals. She got to see it in her life. And she's very much one of the people responsible for that happening. It'll never be another one of hers. Madeline Rice and Megan Rice. The end of the Dorothy Day era. Dorothy Day, Madeline Rice, Megan Rice. Kevin Blanche will carry on. My wayward son. I don't know where to go. I've been very discouraged. My uncle's passed away. He had a major stroke. Now, Megan, what a freaking great activist. Dorothy Day, Madeline Rice, Megan Rice. I love Madeline Rice. She meant so much to me. I learned a lot as a kid from her. We keep fighting, right? I know what Megan Rice would say right now to my face, to me. Hang in there, Cap. Keep fighting. God will take care of it. Do God's work. Do His work. You keep doing His work, and you keep fighting these nuclear energy monsters, freaks. God will take care of all the rest. That's exactly what she would say to me, because she said it to me lots of times. I spent a lot of time at the Dorothy Day house. <laughs> I saw Michael not that long ago sleeping in the tent. <laughs> Peace, vigil. I don't know how I'm going to juggle this. It's Monday. Michael's funeral Saturday. He's going to be buried in Arlington, but not till later. Well, the only good thing is we'll get some media press out of it. It's on the front page of the Washington Post tonight because we're juggling on nuclearism. And again, I will quote the head of plowshares, the boy, at the potluck of the Megan Rice sentencing. You know, Barack Obama gave her life in prison. She got, the judge gave her life in prison. How'd she get out? I'm the guy that started that petition. I remember me and uh, Patrick Henry. Patrick Henry, he and I, Tony. We started that together. It had two million signatures on it. Quigley fought. The appellate judge, he did such a great job on her case. The appellate judge is two to one. Ruled to let her go, and Obama was pissed. 
and Obama refused to let her out and quickly had to fucking threaten the Obama administration and threaten the White House because he still wasn't going to let her out, even after the judges ordered immediate time serve out now. Still wouldn't. Now look what they did to Aaron Swartz. Well, those were the days, weren't they? That's where the Million Mass March was, uh, you know. People talk cancel culture. What a fuck. Look what they've done to Kevin Blanche and crew. She's an angel now. The only good thing is... I think it's irony because tomorrow will be 10 years that I was given two months to live. It'll be 10 years to the day. That's the way it works. That angels are with me now. These angels that have been with me the whole time. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. Lay me down on freaking burned out pastures in Corda. Next to the calm Pacific waters. Anoint my head with dead humpback. Gray well oil. Great fight, Megan. You're the greatest ever. Long live Megan Rice and Madeline Rice and Dorothy Day's legacy. We'll honor it. I'll honor it. I'll do something really special. Obama can rub in hell. So can Trump. All of them. What they've done to the anti-nuclear activists is disgraceful. Amen.